I'm Kayla with Pop Entertainment, and it is so nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Where Where are you right now? Are you what state? I'm um, at home. I'm in Philly, so nice. yeah, just my room at Philly. <laughs> cool. um, so first of all, how are you? I'm good. Um, just making a lot of music, uh, getting ready to go on tour in like ten days, I believe. We're leaving, and um, yeah, got got a lot of exciting stuff going on. Awesome, awesome. So the last time um, Pop Entertainment spoke with you was actually on your Days and Confused tour in Philly, right after you threw out the first pitch at the Phillies game. So yeah. you've come so far since 2016. What would you say has been your biggest milestone since then? My biggest milestone? Um, um, I think like looking back on my whole career, like my favorite moment was getting to perform in my like hometown arena that I grew up going to um, for shows. Like I saw my first concert ever there. I saw NSYNC there. I grew up going to like hockey games and just concerts and jingle balls and stuff like that. Um, and then I got to perform there in my hometown and it was like in front of like 20,000 people and it was just like the best night of my life. Oh, that, that's so exciting and so like full circle for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations on your newest single, Eight Tattoos. Thank you. Um, could you tell us a bit about the meaning behind the song as well as uh, like the whole process, the writing process and everything? Yeah, I wrote that song a couple months ago um, with my friends, Brett Truitt and Alex Wilk. And um, yeah, the song is really just about kind of like using the tattoos to like measure like the growth and the changes that have happened in your life over the last you know decade. And um, it's kind of more about, it's kind of more towards like the kids that I haven't seen like since high school, just saying like, you know, obviously it's not about the tattoos. The tattoos is more of a metaphor, but it's just about how like, I wonder if you'd recognize the person who I am today um, compared to like the person you knew back in high school. Cause I'm completely different. I have, you know, I, I literally am just like night and day different as, as I'm sure you are and most people are. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a really cool song about changing in, in good ways and bad ways and just, you know, but also hoping that those people that you remember from 10 years ago haven't changed too much because you kind of like them, you like them that way. And, you know, you kind of just hope that people don't change, even though you know that you have as well. Right. Um, so if you could pick one lyric from the song that kind of encompasses the whole vibe and meaning, what would you pick? Um, I think that there's a lyric that says, uh, I've lived a hundred lives since 17. And I really do feel like that. I feel like 17 years old was like, like a, like a dream, like it was just like not even my life, like it was just so long ago that I don't even really remember it. It's just all a blur. Um, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, just like it's crazy roller coaster. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's probably okay. my favorite thing. So uh, speaking of eight tattoos, you'll be embarking on the eight tattoos tour next month. So congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. Um, so what can fans expect to hear on this tour? What can you tell us about that? Well, I'm playing eight tattoos, of course. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm playing another unreleased song that comes out in a week, uh, which is really fun. We have an amazing music video coming out with it as well. Um, and then, yeah, just a lot of uh, a lot of songs that that I want to play, as well as songs that I know the fans want to hear from, like way, way back in my career. Um, songs like um, "A Million Lives" and "First Flight Home" and "Selfish Girls," like songs I made way back in the day. Right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing some of those back just for the for the OG fans. Yeah, I got to throw something in there for the OGs. <laughs> of course, of course, yeah. Um, so which cities are you excited to visit again, if any? Um, New York City is always one of my favorites um, to play in. I love Philly. Um, anywhere in like the Northeast is like just always been really, really great to me. And um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed I'm not going home to Florida on this tour, but I'm excited to do like, yeah, the Northeast, Los Angeles is going to be sick. And I'm just excited for them all, really. All right, and you'll, you'll, I have a feeling you'll be back performing in Florida soon. So those Florida fans have something to look out for. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we never stop touring. Right. <laughs> so um, aside from looking forward to playing newer songs as well as OG songs for OG fans, um, how excited are you to see fans' actual faces again in person and, you know, perform live for them? Yeah, no, that's the best. I mean, just like kind of going away from tour for like six months and then like just kind of seeing everyone's like usernames and like comments but like not really like putting you know faces to names hopefully I've made a lot of new fans since the last tour that you know maybe I'll meet for the first time this tour so 
yeah, it's always just really nice, especially when I like see the same people coming back year after year um, to just kind of give them a hug and tell them how much I appreciate them being with me since the beginning. Yeah. Um, so I bet it was drastic to go from, you know, being able to play shows every night to none at all. Um, yeah. How would you say the last three years, as well as the last six months, have helped you um, grow on your songwriting? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think we've all just as people have seen so much change over the last three years over the pandemic. Um, and it's really just affected every aspect of my life. I mean, I think I'm a much happier person than I was a couple of years ago. I think the, this pandemic put a lot of things in perspective. Um, I'm in a great relationship. I have a great family, great friends. And I think I like value all that even more than I did before. Um, and that all kind of just spills into my mood, you know, my just my the vibe that I'm feeling throughout the day. And, and that spills into the to the songwriting. So um, yeah, I wouldn't say like my songwriting is like drastically changed, but I just think, you know, I'm whatever I'm feeling, which is for the most part, really positive is all just kind of spilling into my songwriting. Well, that's really awesome to hear. I'm glad everything is going great for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so who would you say are your biggest songwriting influencer, influences and have they changed over time or stayed the same throughout the years? Pretty much stayed the same. Um, John Mayer and John Bellion are just like two people who, even though they're very opposite, I just like completely am inspired by like every single thing that they release. Um, John Bellion in terms of like his super left field creativity. Um, John Mayer in terms of just like his really emotional lyrics and guitar licks. Um, yeah, I just kind of pull certain elements from from both of them in almost every song that I write. Right. Um, you can definitely hear those influences throughout your music, which is kind of cool. Um, so what is the best piece of advice, best piece of advice that you were ever given? This can be, you know, regarding performing life or whatever. Um, my dad has always told me, I, I used to play baseball before I got into music. I thought I was going to be a, a professional baseball player one day, but then I didn't grow to be big and strong like everybody else. So I, uh, I couldn't hit the ball as far. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll make music. But anyways, I uh, grew up being a pitcher. And um, every time I was on the mound, my dad would just tell me to like, imagine myself in a bubble and just kind of like block out all the noise from everyone in the stands and the other team and all that stuff, just put myself in a bubble. And I could just kind of remember that like with everything I do in life, because especially now with all this social media and all these different platforms and a million comments and everything, just there's so much to see and so much information kind of entering our brains every, every minute. Um, sometimes I just have to remind myself to kind of ground myself and just put myself in that bubble of what's really important. Yeah, that's definitely super special and important to keep with you. Yeah. Um, so do you have any advice for anyone who is wanting to pursue music as their career? Um, any advice? I would say make the music that only you want to make. Um, don't try to make music that's that you think other people will like. Just make music that you will like. Um, don't make music that just for like the sake of it maybe going viral on TikTok, like just make good music. <laughs> and then if it's a good song, people will use it. I, I know a lot of friends who like kind of go into the studio and like try to like think of like TikTokable lyrics. And that's like the opposite of what I want to do. Um, just stay, to, stay true to yourself, make great music. And if you like it, you know, other people will have to like it too. There's a lot of people in the world. Right. Um, so lastly, you've been teasing some new music on your Instagram recently. Um, what can fans expect and how soon is this new music coming? Well, I have a new song coming out right before our tour called Keeper. Um, really fun summer song with my favorite music video that we've ever shot, um, where me and my girlfriend dress up as old people and we escape from a hospital. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like the fun. That's cool. <laughs> It's so much fun. Um, we run around LA just like doing reckless stuff, egging cars, graffitiing, and it's it's a great video. But um, that song comes out right before tour. And then uh, after tour, we're going to drop some more songs, package them into like a little EP, probably five or six songs. And uh, yeah, and always still working on other music. So I'm probably going to have some like personal things that are going to happen in my life towards the end of the year. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm going to write some songs kind of about that. And uh, yeah. 
Um, so do you have anything you would like to say to your fans? Just wanna say how much I appreciate them, um, whether they just discovered me yesterday or in 2011, um, every single person matters to me and I, I appreciate every single person, whether it's coming to the shows or just clicking a like button or you know listening to the songs. Um, you know, they're the ones that make it all possible. So yeah, I appreciate you guys.